Now we know what is a right angle, what is a straight angle, what is a complete angle and what is a reflex angle. So we discussed this in the part 1 of the video series on you know uh, the topics uh, related to angles and this is a part 2 now and let's relearn the same uh, you know concepts as right angle, straight angle, complete and reflex angle using using clock because there will be some word problems uh, related to clock only. So there is nothing new. I mean, in this example, we use the cardinal directions. We use cardinal, cardinal directions to explain these four types of angle. And in this case, Let's relearn using a clock. So, imagine this. Uh, imagine this uh, arrow as a, you know, our hand, as an our hand, our hand of the clock. So it's an our hand of the clock, and if you come at, if you if this sorry if this uh, if this hand comes at this point i mean if it it's pointing at 1 then it's if it is pointing at 2 and finally when this our hand reaches at i mean it's pointing at 3 so this will be a right angle for those of you who haven't watched the part 1 of this video series, um, then please do watch it and then come and watch this video. Otherwise everything will be new to you. So this is a right angle and when again you, I mean if this our hand moves to points to 4 then to 5 then to and it reaches to here. Let me take some different color. In this case, let's use green color. It's here. And let's mark it using. Okay. So this was a right angle. And this is another right angle that is between 3. If this R hand was at 3 and then if it comes to 6 then it has taken a right angle. It has rotated or moved by a right angle. Now this right angle plus this right angle that is two right angles will make a straight angle that is the angle this angle this angle from this portion to this portion that is from 2 and to the point when you know to the direction when this our hand is pointing towards 6 so this angle will be a straight angle will be a straight angle this our hand again it travels to it travels to the point seven, then to eight, and then it again, you know, takes a right angle when it comes to the point when it is pointing towards the point to the number nine. So it's another right angle. It's another right angle that is between six and 9 and it again travels to 10 and to 11 then finally to 12 it reaches again to this original number I mean the initial number not so original number sorry it's to the uh, 
initial number, it has again taken a right angle in between 9 and 12. So this whole angle, this whole angle that is from the initial position and then again reaching to this you know same position where you started from this our hand started from so this will be a complete angle this will be a complete angle and complete angle will happen when the our hand or in this case when you were rotating yourself takes a full rotation and any angle that is greater than straight angle but less than complete angle greater than straight angle that is greater than this angle but, but less than this angle that is complete angle like in this case if you are taking this position that is from this position of the R hand to this position of the R hand that is 7 or even if you take between this position or even between or even between this position these all are reflex reflex angle reflex angle is greater than a straight angle but less than a complete angle that is that will be a reflex angle so in the part one of the video series we learned about right angle straight angle complete angle and reflex angle using cardinal directions and in this case we learn the same points using a clock